Hello and welcome to another episode of Dirty Birdie's Garage. Um, first off, I'd like to thank all of you. I know there's a lot of my friends on here and whatnot that are uh, subscribing, liking, commenting, and all that. You're all not only pushing the channel, but you're also pushing me. Um, yeah, it's something that this is way out of my uh, my normal thing and. I'm gonna try it, and I really thank you for uh, helping me out with this. Now tonight, what we're gonna talk about is one of the most, basically, uh, ignored things on any mower, uh, which is the blades. I mean, we call it a lawnmower, but, you know, obviously the blades are doing the work, and, you know, they get dull and whatnot, and, um, this is a perfect example right here. I'm gonna give you a show on this. Um, on a later video, I'm going to show you not only how to actually order the correct blades for your mower, but also um, the actual, the correct time. Uh, the good, best time of year, honestly, right after Christmas. Um, these shops are, you know, they, they wanna uh, do their inventory get rid of it, get new stock in and everything. They're struggling to pay bills, obviously, because people aren't buying one dollar parts that time of year. So that's fine. So we're, gonna, we're all gonna take advantage of this. So uh, anyway, let me uh, give you a quick overview of what's going on here. Um, so set of blades there's only one here but this belongs to my good friend Patrick uh, I brought those these to me today um, as you can see we got a lot of nicks in them they're they're worn pretty thin um, we actually have a few uh, more months in Kentucky here to mow so I think we could straighten these blades out long enough to get them through that and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, you know, we'll, I, I think I'm gonna have to remind Patrick a little bit later, we'll uh, order up some new blades for him over the winter. Um, this is what I generally use. Now, a lot of the mower shops actually have blade sharpening machines and everything. Well, I'll tell you right now, there's none of those around here anymore. They've closed up and everything and this is what's called, uh, this is what I've always called an angle grinder. And this is something that you can actually pick up fairly cheap. You know, if you're just using it for using it for mower blades, <laughs> the thing could very well last you 20 years. I bought one for uh, 1999 back uh, when I worked for Benny's in Rhode Island. That thing's got, had to have been 20 years old. That thing just burnt out this year. Okay, that's all I've ever used it for, don't get me wrong, but still, I mean, that that's a good lifespan out of a $20 tool, considering how many blades I sharpen for people and whatnot. But, you know, this thing's, uh, it, spins, it spins at a fairly high rotation, and it does a very nice job, but the one thing you want to watch out for, you know, you got a very high spinning wheel here um if you were to take this grinder just say you were doing something you drop it on the floor take the wheel off of it get rid of it um they spin at a high rate of speed and you might not see the crack in it um but it will blow apart and it will take things with it and you know i mean it's a fairly dangerous tool but it's also a very easy to use tool at the same time so you know I'd rather uh, I want people to be safe but I want to save you money at the same time you know that, that's what I'm after but anyway I'm gonna set this back over on a bench I got a I actually have some safety glasses I normally would wear a safety shield with this like a face shield unfortunately when I moved here I broke it in the middle of moving but I got regular glasses and you never want to use something, a tool like this without glasses. So please keep that in mind. Now what we're gonna do, we got some, like I said, some nicks here. So what we're gonna do, 
when I start at the bottom right here, you can see actually where the nicks would, you know, coming through. So we're gonna sand this down a little bit. Then we're gonna start on the, the actual edge. All right, we're gonna grind that down to a smooth surface. Then we're going to start here and just work our way over. You know, we're gonna have to work it a couple times in order to get it where we want it. But um, technically this blade is worn out, but as I said, we're gonna get Patrick through the rest of the season with this and then we'll go from there with it. Anyway, I'm gonna set you back on a bench. I'm gonna throw some glasses on and I'm gonna go ahead and grind this thing down and, and I'll show you the end results. Should do it, I believe. All right, here's a little set of uh, Amazon safety glasses. They do the trick, guys. And there you have it. Like I said, it's not the best edge you can ever give a blade, but for something that you want to mow grass with, she'll do it. It'll cut just fine. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. And uh, like I said, we'll be back with a follow-up on this one. Have a great night.